Alrighty guys, we safely made it back to the house. Alrighty. So we got the cubes here. This is actually my old RS3 that I've been using for a while as my main. Um, it's just set up using actually some Nebula, which is the slowest speed each I believe, and then wait one. So it's, it's pretty messy. I did a lot of changes to it as time went on. So there's no specific formula for what this cube has in it right now, but this is just the R stream that I'm using right now. And then for the budget cubes that we're gonna be comparing with this today is we actually have another RS3, but this is none of the the Angstrom version. And this is actually the first time I'm ordering from the cubicle because Speed Cube Shop is in my state, so usually I would go for Speed Cube Shop, but I've heard so many good things about Angstrom that I had to just give it a try. And you know, I've been really enjoying the RS3 I'm, and I'm just so curious about this. So we're just really quickly gonna take a look at this and the Angstrom accessories. Um, but we won't go in too in depth, but it looks like right off the bat, a very nice Angstrom bag here, which is absolutely amazing. We got the tensioning tools that it originally comes with. Oh yes, the Angstrom business card. Very, very nice. We got the cube itself and a cubicle cube stand, which is absolutely amazing. And that's it. So we got the bag, all these accessories, as well as the cube. So we're just going to really quickly turn it a little bit. Um, and this will be the RSTM that we're comparing it with. But yeah, I'm so, so excited about this. I mean, that Angstrom logo is looking very, very nice. And they do add extra magnets for you as well. So... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they lube it with DNM37, Lubical Black on the core, and Angstrom Gravitas and Dignitas. Um, but yeah. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, so we got the frosted plastic, just like an RSM right out of the box. Let's give some turns. Oh my. Oh my. That is silky. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Oh, yo. Oh my go- Oh my. Oh, yo. That's like silky soft. In comparison, just for sound. I don't know if you could tell. Probably can't because, you know, sound. But man, that is silky smooth and very, very quiet. It's the tensions are set up really, really well as well. No spring noise right off the bat. And it actually feels lighter for whatever reason. Okay, so that's a really, really good. And I honestly, Angstrom setup, man, it might be a thing that I would have to try with more cubes in the future. But that is absolutely amazing. And we will go into full in-depth reviews on these cubes in separate videos. This is just going to be an overall comparison of my thoughts. So the next one right here, we actually have the Yushin Little Magic. And I'm gonna pop up a comment on the screen because this video was suggested to me. So thank you, thank you so, so much. And I'm really curious to see how this is as well. It comes with a little pamphlet in this cardboard box. So um, packaging wise, not as you know flashy as the other ones, but the Yushin Little Magic a while ago, the non-magnetic version was the best budget cube being at only $5. And it wasn't magnetic. So a lot of people wanted to put magnets in it. And this one, they've gone and put magnets in for you. And we're gonna take a look and how see how this is. So this is actually glossy plastic. Ooh, very sandy. Ooh. Very sandy, very fast right out of the box. I don't, ooh. It's super, super sandy. It's a little bit, let's, yeah, the corner cutting seems a little bit like snappy. Hmm, I don't know. I don't really know about this cube. I think you have to set it up. But um, it's definitely not bad at all. I'll put the prices for these right up on the screen right here. The RSTM comes in at nine dollars. This one comes in, I believe, I believe ten, but it was on sale when I got it. And then the GMS comes in seven dollars, which is gonna take a look at right here with the feisty, massive. <laughs> massive plastic display case, which is really cool. I mean, you could definitely display your cube in here. But yeah, the GMS, I do believe, comes lubed. This doesn't, the Yushin Little Magic doesn't come lubed, but the RSTM also doesn't come lubed. So um, the RSTM, I would highly recommend it lubing yourself or getting some sort of service to lube it for you. But we gotta take a look at this GMS really quick. Ooh. Okay, so yes, there's definitely quite a bit of lube on the surface here. Ooh, weird texture. 
it's not really, I think it's frosted, but yeah, there's definitely, oh my God, a lot of lube here. Goodness. It's, it, I don't really know if you guys can see it and reflecting on the light, but it's got a really weird texture. It's like frosted, but a little bit more, a little bit different. It's, it's, it's quite an interesting sensation, actually. The magnets are quite clicky. And this is very fast out of the box, but I think it flows pretty well, actually. I, I quite like this. That's pretty nice. It's just, it's very luby out of the box, which is a good thing. So it won't dry out um, from shipment. And then you can just wipe out the lube at the, on the surface and, you know, test it out. So I think overall these three cubes, um, this one, the RS3M and the Yushin Little Magic, I know aren't set up out of the box. I would say the Yushin Little Magic, it feels kind of dense, quite sandy, like really, really sandy, like more sandy than the RS3M out of the box. Um, I mean, they're all really good cubes, I'm not gonna lie. This is actually pretty insane on how cubing hardware has gone so cheap compared to like a GAN, for example. And I'm finding myself preferring these budget cubes over, you know, the most expensive ones, which is so, so cool. But I think overall these, the Chi MS, yeah, you can see this is, and then, well, this one's set up with Angstrom loops. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. But the Chi MS does come with some lube and it has a really, really interesting texture. It's just, it's got a little bit more, I guess it's a tad bit more bumpy um, but in like a really good way. It's not like um, the, uh, uh, what, what was it called? Was it the Yushin, the um, Shengxiao Gem, I believe. The Shengxiao Gem 3x3 had a really bumpy texture, which was really weird. But this is really s similar to Frosted, but with like a tiny, tiny bit of that. Not really, just, I, I honestly don't really know how to explain it, but it's got a really interesting texture that I do really enjoy, so. I'm curious to see what that does for the grip, and what I'm gonna do is, you know, just do some solves on these, and then we're gonna get back to you guys with some other videos as well, going in depth for each of these three puzzles, because these puzzles really do have some main potential. I think right now, just based on what you want, if you don't wanna lube it yourself, go with the Chi MS. If you don't like frosted plastic, then go with this but everyone's saying that the RS3M is the best one out of the three. So I think if you definitely have some lube on your own, go with the RS3M for now, but that opinion just might change after some breaking and some lubing. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this brief overview. We're definitely gonna go into some in-depth reviews on these because these puzzles are just incredible. The GMS, man. But yeah, I'll definitely see you guys very soon.